We all carry a lot of baggage. Well, it's time to learn how to shed that load. Let's welcome Laura Solorzano with the Body Genius Method back to the chatter. Welcome, Yay. Mara. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for having me. So studio. I love yeah. I love this topic, the body genius. It makes me sound smart. Like yeah. this is something oh. that I'm gonna wanna do. And it's a method, method. We're gonna, which I like. And we're gonna Try unload some baggage, which always feels good. Mm -hmm. So tell us, tell us what this is all about. Yeah, so for about eight years I've been coaching women with disordered eating as I had recovered half my life spending, you know, struggling with an eating disorder. So I've been doing that for quite a while, one-on-one -on -one with clients, and I've always wanted to find a way to give the tools that I have to the masses, basically, to have more people have the opportunity to learn the tools. Because I think that, especially in today's day and age, everyone, 99% of women are struggling with some sort of body dysmorphia or disordered eating in some form or fashion. Just the messages that are being given to us are so wrong and so false that I just wanted to create a space where I could debunk it all and help people really listen to themselves, turn inward, and unlock their body genius. I love everything about what you just said, right? It's something that we don't really talk about. Yeah. We know that's out there. We yeah. know that media or whatever is being shoveled at us is real and legit. It does affect us. Yeah. But we think we're above the law. Right. It's really but frustrating, actually. It, right? Yeah. But we're not. Yeah. Well, and food becomes a coping mechanism for mm -hmm. many things, whether it's not eating or eating too much or anything in between. Right. And it starts at such a young age. So at the age of 10 or 11, you have girls that think food is good or bad and food doesn't have a personality. You know, like we just have these really, really mm -hmm. messed up <laughs> messages that are getting to our children that are then passed on to us and or carried on with us. And really it's just messaging in our brain that needs to be rewired and we can, act, act, we can absolutely change everything that we think and the way that we view and our paradigms around body and food can change and we can become whatever we want to become. So, so when you were here before, you talked. You had different books, journaling. So yeah, I will get to that. But so, is the Body Genius Method also a book? It's not a book, but we do incorporate the Gratitude Daily Mindset Journal. That's the oh. morning and evening one. Oh, okay. Um, every single day. So everyone who participates in the program, we just we just finished our first round, and we're going to relaunch it and do it again because it okay. went so well. Um, but that is a big part of it, is the women and girls. I had half of the women, people in my method were teenagers, which was so exciting. Oh, okay. Very good, because you're catching them. It changes their life young. forever, and yes. the tools that they learn can be applied to everything in their life. So that was a, okay. a crucial part of it, was using that journal every morning and night. So tell us yeah. about the program. Is it yeah. online or in person, and then how many weeks? So this first time it was about a month and it's online, it's mm -hmm. virtual coaching. You know, you come in as a group mm -hmm. and you get um, different lessons every week. And then the journal you incorporate and then there's like Q and A and things like that. So it basically is, you can do it from anywhere. You can watch the, the live sessions are recorded. And this next time when we relaunch it, we're gonna do six weeks. Okay, you need um, a little bit more time. A little bit longer okay. in order to do some like live coaching where people could come on and maybe like be in the hot seat and get coached from me one-on-one. -on -one. Because what I've noticed is lots of, pe lots of women and girls don't wanna be the one to ask the question, yeah. but when someone finally does, they're they have married. all the same questions. And so it's nice to have someone who's willing to be in the hot seat and be coached and then everyone always benefits from it. So totally. we're gonna add more to it. Um, my 17 year old designed a cute sweatshirt we're giving to everybody too that's oh. so cool. So yeah, it's gonna be really awesome. So how can people fun. find out more about it? So they can go to, right now they can go to my Instagram which is Create Remarkable Co. We changed our name in, because we're bringing on so many other things besides just Remarkable Journals. Okay. Um, they can go there and there's a link to the sales page where they can look at everything and then um, stay on there to look for updates as we, re, as we launch it again. Okay. Yeah, which will probably be in March. Oh, so soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in the next few weeks. Wow. Yeah. I just, I love the concept. Yeah. I think that when I was a teenager, it's something, I, 
I don't know, maybe without the social media, we weren't in such a bad place, but I still remember as a teenage girl putting on my chair skirt and thinking, this feels tight today, like you better not yeah. eat tomorrow, right? Yeah. Like that was a concept that was going on in my mind. Right, well I didn't have social media and I had a severe eating disorder. Mm -hmm. So I think about all of these girls and women Mm -hmm. these moms that are spending time on social media comparing themselves to everybody and then they're getting the messaging because the fitness and diet industry is so so um, so prevalent yes and it makes so much it's, money but it's <laughs> confusing too because right. there's so many different diet there, methods yes. and some of them are actually really unhealthy so we try them all but the the core of the problem is that every single thing that I think that's out there is telling you you have a problem to fix mm. Yeah. And so we're creating a problem because that's mm -hmm. what we're focused on. And what my method is so different and so revolutionary is because I'm telling you, don't focus on a problem because you're not a problem. Focus on what you want to become and create. Mm -hmm. And as you yeah, set yeah. your mind and you decide what you want to become and create, you become that because the brain is so mm -hmm. amazingly powerful. It's just wired yeah. to think that fat is bad or not being this yeah. perfect yeah. is bad. Yeah. And, and it's that is so such cultural. a hard concept. <laughs> yeah. Like the islanders are like curvy and beautiful right. and like do they struggle with these same things or is it more <laughs> No, I think it's, it's our, our definitely more nation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Our culture. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wanted to ask so is this mostly for like eating fitness or does your program apply to women dealing with different struggles? So as I've launched it, it's been launched as the body genius, but what's interesting is the first round that we mm -hmm. went through, the feedback that I got, especially from moms, was I can't believe how this is applying to every area okay. of my life. That's as I've even just listened yeah. to, I'm like this, what, probably yeah. whatever things you're like trying to Like any insecurity yeah. or something yeah. like that, mm -hmm. you could connect with yeah. them. Yeah. Yes. Because basically we all come with different paradigms by the way that we were raised, by social media, by the culture that we live in, and all it takes to become something different is to change that paradigm in any area of your mm -hmm. life. So you learn how to do that. I teach you how when your brain is the most malleable, the most neuroplastic, because our brains can totally when is change. That? Like I was just gonna say, yeah. tell us, like, give us a snippet of. Yeah, it's actually like the fir when you wake up first thing in the morning, in the okay. first 30 minutes, and the last 30 minutes before you fall asleep which is why the journal is so crucial because it's set up to be morning and evening. Okay. I love hearing that because yeah. I wake up at the same time every day and I go into our living room and that's where my journal is and my, that's awesome. my meditation or spiritual, mm -hmm. like whatever I choose to study that day. It's the best Before time the for you to do that. the world is just like ding, 100%. ding, ding, you know, just your phone, yeah. everything. And, and this afternoon I had time, so I thought I'm gonna go back to that and read it. I wasn't like clicking, focusing. It was just like, oh, midday, not a good time for yeah. studying. Yeah. Well, and they've really also done things. scientific studies that show if you get on your phone, the very first thing mm -hmm. you do when you wake up, you're actually having a dopamine hit because a phone gives you that kind of like fake dopamine hit. Mm -hmm. Then for the rest of the day, you're trying to recreate that dopamine hit. All day? The, yes. Mm -hmm. And so it's been shown that when you get on it first thing, you'll spend three times as much time on your phone throughout the rest of the day trying to get that back. Oh, I mean, and that's yeah, what incredible. so many people are doing. Or we're scrolling social media before we go to bed and we're wiring our brain to compare as we sleep. So we're going to bed oh, like comparing ourselves to other people as we sleep and we think that that's a gift to ourselves when our kids go to bed. Now we'll spend time on social media. I mean, I've been there. Oh, yeah. I, it took me like an aha, this was like three or four years ago where I was like, wait, what am I doing? Like that's not a gift that I'm giving myself. Right, I, I'm feeling bad actually. Right, like I'm gonna <laughs> compare myself to other people and go to bed with that sitting in my brain. Mm -hmm. That's the opposite of what I wanna do. If I wanna create the best life I can, then I'm gonna be writing down who I am, who I wanna become, you know, all my goals, things like that, so that that is what I'm thinking about as I sleep and it has changed my life. That's well, it's interesting yeah. about journaling, because I was just studying about trauma last week in my schooling, is reflection is a big mm -hmm. coping mechanism for dealing with trauma. And if you've had an eating disorder, yeah. that's traumatic yeah. and something that you deal with, but you can have other things pile on top of that, that are hard to cope with. So reflection was yeah. such a big deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And so when you say journaling, this is really powerful. Well, one of the things that I really struggled with as I was trying to overcome my eating disorder, because I struggled with it for like 17 years, so through six of my eight kids, and I tried everything. And the, the problem was that every time I went to a counselor or a therapist or anyone, I was broken and I had a problem and I would always struggle with this. That was the messaging that I was being given. Oh, horrible. And really? it makes you, well, think yeah. about it. When you go in, they say, and this is told to all women with eating disorders and girls, that you will always have an eating disorder yeah. and Why? you will have I to deal with it. That. And I always left thinking, okay, so if I always will feel this way, I just, why am I even trying? Like, so you feel uh, defeated yes. probably. Right? Yeah, and the, and wow. the fact so is that is forever. so untrue. Here I am, 45, recovered at 35, I do not have an eating disorder. I do not struggle with an eating disorder. And the girls that I've been able to work with, the women, some in their 50s who've been in and out of treatment for years and years, like do not have eating disorders anymore because they were able to rewrite their brain. Like it's, it's such a disservice to tell people that they'll always struggle with it and then you put them in this box and tell them, okay, get better. Like it's yeah. just, it's impossible. Oh. Laura, I feel like the first time you came with your journals, so remarkable if I can <laughs> say that, but I feel like this was a catapult to what is really Yeah, well I had started like, my is coaching huge. is actually what led to the journals. My husband, I think I told the uh -huh. last time, had like yep. had them printed because I was sending them to all my yes. clients. And so it is like at the heart circle. of everything yes. is me trying to give back in a way it's to amazing. help people who have struggled. And that's a great way of healing. It. Yeah. yeah, is to give yeah. back something that you've struggled and help yeah. other people. Yeah, and imagine. it really is for everyone because all of us have some kind of messaging that's not serving us. Well, thank you yeah. for sharing your yeah. message with thank us you. today. Our time's up, but remind <laughs> our listeners again, where can they find your information? Okay, go to at Create Remarkable Co. on Instagram. Remarkable. Yeah, Create. that is the best place to go right now where okay. you can find links to everything. Yeah. Great, Great. journal tools, all the tools thank you, you. Thanks, Thanks. Sweet lady. Yeah, yeah, of course. We'll have you Thanks back. Thanks for soon. having me. Absolutely.